Okay, now guys, this is an example of a cantilevered beam. So why I have to call this as a cantilevered beam? Because in fact, I have a fixed support here and it is free to move at the other end. Now, fixed support means that I should have three reactions. One is vertical and one is a horizontal. And since basically there is no horizontal force here, so of course the horizontal force will be equal to zero. And basically I will have a moment reaction here. So I can guess that this moment reaction will be counterclockwise because in fact the distributed load will be clockwise. So in order to have an equilibrium, this moment should be opposite to this distributed load moment. Now you can put of course the opposite direction and you can find that this moment is negative so you can flip the direction at the end of the first step which is to find the reaction. So how to find the reactions? I know that the sum of forces is equal to zero. And this means, guys, that R A minus 3 times 2 will be equal to 0, which means that R A is equal to 6 kN. Now, if I'm going to find sum of moment around A is equal to 0, so I know that this could be represented by a, a 6 kN here, far from A by uh, the half of the slags, which is 1. And this means, of course, that MR minus 3 times 2, which is 6, the resultant force times the distance, which is 1, is equal to 0. And this means that my MR is equal to 6 kN. Alright, so this MR is equal to 6, and this RA is equal to 6. Alright, so guys, I have here a uniformly distributed load of a negative intensity of 3 kN. And then I need to find the shear force. If I'm going to do the method of cut, of course, I will do one cut only. And then I can apply the equilibrium equations for the left part or for the right part. Now here it is easy to find the right part, but I advise you guys to stick to the left part. Because uh, in order not to get confused with the conversion of the sign uh, or with x, all right? Because if you want to take the right part, x will be from the end point, and then you should substitute it by n minus this x. Okay? So, guys, basically, if I need to apply the graphical method, how to start? I know that here I have a point load. Now, the moment will not be included in V because it is sum of forces, not sum of moment. I know that I have an upward force and I know guys from the rules that an upward force will give me what? Will give me a jump of V up. So V will jump up by 6 kN. Okay, because it is upward. And now since omega is constant but it is negative and I know that the slope of V will be equal to this minus omega, then the slope of V will be negative 3. And this means, guys, that V is a straight line. Don't forget that V is the integration of omega and is the integration of V. So V will be a straight line of slope minus 3. Now, how to find, guys, how to draw the straight line? Of course, I need another point. So I should, guys, find a point. Now, you can find the point at the end of the beam since this is a straight line. Only, I only need two points. So, guys, I will find... The V at this point, it should be equal to zero. If V was equal to zero here, then my shear diagram is correct. Okay? So V will be decreasing to this point. So let's find out what is V here. How to find out what is V here? I know that delta V will be equal to the area under omega. And now here, since omega is negative, so it is minus 3 times 2. So it is equal to minus 6. And since delta V is V current minus this V, which is 6, V minus 6 is equal to minus 6, then V is equal to 0, and I can now draw my straight line. Alright, so this is V as simple as that. Now I should find M. I know, guys, that M is the integration of V, or the slope of M is equal to V. Now, since V here is always positive, then this means that M will always be increasing. The difference here, guys, between this cantilevered beam and the simply supported beam is that M will never start here by zero. M will start by the moment reaction, which is equal here to six. Because at A, guys, I have a moment, and it is equal to six, and this moment is counterclockwise. 
And I know from the rules that the counterclockwise moment will drop my moment down by the same value of this moment, which means, guys, my M will drop down by a 6 in a Newton. And this means that M is equal to minus 6. And this is at x is equal to 0. Then I know, guys, that since V here is positive, that M will be increasing. But it will not be increasing in a straight line. Because in fact, guys, here I have a straight line for V, which means M, which is the integration of V, should be a parabola. Alright? So M here should be a parabola or a quadratic, a quadratic curve of order 2, since this is the order 1. Basically, guys, this order is 0. It is constant. Omega is constant. Then V will be order of 1. Then M will be order of 2. So it is a parabola. In order, guys, to draw this parabola, I advise you to take two more points different than the first one. Because this is not a straight line. So I advise you guys to take two more points. I will take a point at the midpoint, which is at x is equal to 1. And a point at x is equal to 2. I should have here a moment of 0. So if this moment was 0, then my moment diagram is correct. Now, at x is equal to 1, what is m? I know, guys, that delta m will be equal to this area right here. Now, what is this area, the area under v? I know that this is 1, and this is a trapezoidal shape. And the area here is positive, basically, because v is positive. is equal to 6 plus this here, so this height here, and what is this height from the theory of midpoint, since this is the midpoint, guys. So from the theory of midpoint, I know that this height should be equal to 6 over 2, so 6 plus 3 times this length here, and this length is 1 over 2. So this is the area of the trapezoidal shape. And then this means, guys, that delta m will be equal to 4.5. Now, guys, I know that delta m is m at this point. Minus m at the starting point, which is here, minus 6. So minus minus will be plus. Plus 6 is equal to 4.5. And this means that m will be equal to minus 1.5. So even if m is increasing, then this m, guys, is also negative. So you should find this m because it could be ne positive, could be negative. Now this here, in this case, m is negative and it is equal to minus 1.5. In order, guys, to make sure that this m here is equal to 0, so this should be equal to 0 at the point where x is equal to 2, so this should be my m. I should find delta m here. Now, guys, you can find this delta m, and this delta m will be equal to this area. So delta m, which is m current, minus m, which is minus 1.5, which is plus 1.5, minus minus is plus, is equal to this area, which is the 3 times 1 over 2, 1.5. And then delta m, m plus 1.5 is equal to 1.5. And this means that m is equal to 0. Or you can take the whole triangle, guys. So you can take the whole triangle, and in this case, you should take delta m from this point to this point. All right, so I will do another method. This is the first one. So I will take, guys, this delta m. So delta m here is m current that should be equal to 0, so I'm verifying my results. Minus the first m here, which is minus 6, so plus 6, is equal to this whole area that is equal to 6 times 2 over 2, which is 6. And this means also that m is equal to 0. And this means that my moment diagram is correct. So basically, guys, you should only apply the rules for the graphical method. And you can draw directly v and m. Now, guys, I have attached in the description of, the, of this video a link for a playlist uh, for some extra problems. Okay? So you can go solve for them. And uh, the graphical method will be very clear. Thank you.